the choir master of David. In the Lord I have taken my refuge. How can you say to my soul, fly like a bird to its mountain? See the wicked bracing their bow. They are fixing their arrows on the string to shoot upright men in the dark. Foundations once destroyed, what can the just do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord whose throne is in heaven. His eyes look down on the world, his gaze tests mortal men. The Lord tests the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. He sends fire and brimstone on the wicked, he sends a scorching wind as their lot. The Lord is just and loves justice, the upright shall see his face. We should certainly give praise to God because he saves. And the greatest danger from which he can save us is sin, which we ourselves cause, particularly when we are tempted to pride. The book of Sirach calls pride the beginning of all sin. And this is true in two ways. Firstly, because it was the sin of Adam himself in the beginning that secured our fall. And secondly, because it causes other sins. Pride does this because essentially it is an aversion from God. It is turning from him to think of ourselves as much more important than we really are and self-sufficient, independent of God's help. Our plans are greater than his will. And every sin no matter how great or small, involves just this. In this psalm, the enemy tempts the psalmist to think of his soul as being so great that it can scale great heights without God, fly like a bird, he taunts, and reach the peaks of the mountains. To place such faith in our own powers leads us to be shot down where we stand. By contrast, the just place themselves securely below, and the Lord at the top, for they know that his throne is in heaven. The soul is like a bird that should make its nesting place only in the Lord. The soul need only to nestle in his wounded side, which was opened on the cross to make a home for us in the church. Do I think of myself as better than other people? Or do I never cease to thank God for all the gifts that he gives to others and to see them as a token of his glory? Let me grow in humility, Lord, for you yourself did not consider your equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied yourself, becoming obedient even unto death on a cross, and all for me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Ransom, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us.